It's an inside lake on the nest, which is far too small for them now. Because if I take off this lid, we have a look here. We can see that there's loads, lots of them, a huge amount. Let's see if we can see the queen, because the queen is got a big giant gaster. Uh, if we can find her. Some one of those tubes. These tubes don't even have water in them anymore because they've been living in them for so long. If I can find the queen, I'll definitely video her. Uh, should be there in the frame, but not too sure where she is at the moment. Um, we can see all those eggs. They were recently laid overnight by her. Well, there she is in frame, right there. Oh, get a close up. She's got um, a massive gas. Oh, sorry for my shaky hands. Uh, you can understand why they're quite shaky around these hands, because they're so fast and sporadic. But there she is there. Just uh, she was walking around a minute ago. But obviously, she's been tended to by her workers. So. There she is there. Huge, huge queen. Um, I guess it was small when I got her. And now it's, um, it's huge. Um, also, if I was to do this, have a look. So, look at that. So much activity. That's such a beastly colony. This colony was bought from Inkeeping Depot. And um, a tremendous amount all over the place. I'm going to need to get them a bigger nest. So when I hydrate this, they put all the pupae in here for some reason. Um, because um, they've got all the larvae in the dryer spots for some reason. I would have thought they would have had them other way around. But, well. but um, the, on their um, dinner, which is Dubia Roaches at the moment, I need to get more, because <laughs> I've got so many colonies. Uh, but yeah, they're doing quite good. Uh, these two bear roaches are dead. It's just their gangula, which um, is going around. You can see that. They are, I can assure you that they are dead. Um, but it's an amazing, it's amazing to watch. Um, them feeding. Truly. Truly is amazing to watch. I'm feeding um, absolutely swarming the Dubia roaches. I make sure to cut them, uh, cut the uh, the edges there, so uh, uh, they die. But sometimes the gangula can still be attached, hence why the heads moving. The heads are moving of the roaches, so that's why. Sometimes the head moves, see there? Uh, and then it's attacking, it's attacking its head. Well, I can assure you it's lights out for the Dubia Roach, even though it's already dead. Um, use that for a brood chamber there. I chuck, um, chucked a sugar test tube in there, sugar water test tube, and it's already been drunk out of. Um, Overall, I'd say um, this colony is um, not even a year. I think this colony is not even a year old. And they're this, uh, this big, which is superb in my opinion. Started off in that test tube there. Got too big and moved in here. Got too big for that nest. And I put this big boiling tube in here. Absolutely massive test tube. And they've filled that out. So I would say there's well over... 3,000 ants in here, which is amazing to look at. Anyway, I'm quite busy today, so um, only um, a five-minute video per se, so um, sorry about that. Um, if I've got a chance to film any other colonies, I'll let you know. Um, but look at how active they are at the moment. It's amazing. Anyway, I'll see you all later. Goodbye, and thanks for watching.